ahead and get things underway here. So we got Denti versus Ken on the winner side of singles. Denti uh, starting off with a quick combo, playing very aggressively, uh, very uh, not like uh, what I saw during uh, his duration of playing doubles. Ooh! <laughs> Against him with a very, very dirty up B ping, or up B, I think, fine whip. Um, and now Kim, ooh, getting a quick yin. Come on, Chris, let's go. So, Denzi piling on the percentage. Racking up some, uh, some serious combo here. Um, it makes me wonder what this matchup is like. I'm not uh, very proficient uh, in PM, so uh, I don't know a whole lot about this. Um, I know that Kim has been a good best fan for a while here, uh, resident of CSTAT, and Denti obviously a uh, you know, top level PM player from the DFW area. Um, so uh, anyways, um, Kim, after getting that Gimp, has not had much success. Ooh, that would have been a very good grab. But it, uh, as I said, he has had not had much success uh, piling on any more percentage. Comes off the platform with a quick PK fire into grab, uh, and then looks to mix another meteor. It's a good down tilt and the forward smash there. Um, you know, I guess you have to excuse me for being so e sports, but you know, I'm commentating by myself. I don't really have any interesting Smash stories or anything to tell. But uh, anyways, as we're seeing it here, um, Cam, unfortunately, uh, getting a little bit outclassed by uh, by Denti. Denti, which you know, he's good back air and yards and stuff, drops that one. Um, unfortunately for him, um, gives Cam a uh, second life. Lands that uh, big up smash. Um, but sitting at 100%, he's pretty much a full stock down at this point. Uh, it'd be nice to see him uh, pile on some sort of percentage before he dies, but uh, of course that did not happen. So uh, now we got uh, him actually... Okay, alright, let's go Chris. So anyway, um, resets the game back to uh, even then, and uh, Chris... Honestly, like, really trying hard to, to take this game off. He wants it. He wants it just as bad as uh, anything. So, so uh, Denti here trying to seal his edge guard off. Ooh! Wow. It was just enough, um, unfortunately for Kim. So Kim couldn't take that game. But uh, you know, a couple of good plays, a couple of mistakes. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, during the second game here. Um, see how Kem adapts. Uh, I know that he has a couple of the characters that he plays. Um, not very often. Um, obviously, Ness is definitely his uh, his main and uh, by far his strongest character. So I would be very surprised if he switched off. Um, but yeah, uh, two bands. So uh, Denti goes ahead and bans uh, Dreamland and oh god. What is the stage in the far right corner? One of the other uh, stages, you know. Um, Y'all need to get out of my Twitch chat. If you are telling me that you can buy games for cheap, blah, 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 that it's the bots, and I hate that. Anyways. So, Kim starting out with a very fast 62% combo. Um, just trying to play the avoidance game, honestly, here. I think that he should avoid and, and punish as much as possible. And so far, he's done, done a pretty good job of that. 101% um, uh, to 57, or, well, 81 now. Um, this could, this first stock could honestly go either way. And I feel like if Kim gets it, it would be a really good thing for him. Um, and help him build up, you know, some momentum. But with these back airs, you know, big giant hitbox and you know, lots of knockback. Denti is honestly, you know, sitting pretty. Sitting pretty. Uh, drops that though. Drops that real hard and uh, gives gives Chris the uh, the chance to to make it back. But uh, uh, living on borrowed time currently and you know putting up with a wall of back airs. Good moves from Denti there, though, to uh, finally wrap up that stock. And 
now, uh, after healing himself a little bit, sitting at 172%. Kem, uh, doing his best to, to fight through this, but you know, having, having a tough time in the neutral, just because a uh, really good grab into the back row. I think that was a, that was a pretty sweet looking uh, pivot, I believe, because he grabbed him after dash dancing from, or after dashing from one direction back through on the other side. So, um, good stuff from Kim. Uh, and Denti still showing him what, what to do, where it be at with this back air, and uh, finally uh, having the ability to roll up and take the uh, stock from Kim. So Denti um, is playing a very hot combo heavy game right now. Uh, Kem trying to do the same thing. I know whenever I play him, he's uh, very specific in uh, his methodology almost. You know, he looks for kind of specific things and you know, does uh, uses you know uh, certain kinds of you know, strategies and stuff in certain situations. It's very precise about that kind of stuff. You know, he's not you know oh, I'm gonna see if I can do this or that. It's you know, kind of like a this percentage, or you know, when I'm in this situation, this is what I'm gonna try to do. And it uh, looks like uh, he might be having a little bit of trouble adapting to uh, you know, getting comboed so hard by DT. Uh, you know, responding occasionally, you know, like that. A couple, couple good aerials. Gets the back throw at a similar percentage. Still not enough to kill, but ooh! Chris, Chris with the Trixies. Um, gets him with a uh, PK Thunder to Sage Spike in. And now, looking like he's getting edge guarded. A little bit too hard for this. Oh, come on, Chris. Ooh! Denti, a disrespectful dickhead. But I mean, hey. Denti goes ahead and takes that 2 0 against Cam. Good stuff. I never want to let on stage.